A meditation is simply a way for God followers to refocus and reflect on his words. It involves drawing near to God and asking him to make his thoughts and ways known to us. When we choose to set aside time to meditate on scripture, we are choosing to shift our focus onto God and his word and of ourselves and our world. We are allowing God to transform us and reshape our thoughts. Lent is not mentioned in the Bible and means spring season. It is a time of looking forward to new beginnings and a season of reflection and preparation leading up to the celebration of Easter. The basic purpose of Lent is to create space in the middle of life's responsibilities to appreciate what's always been there, God's presence. Lent is a 40-day period based on Jesus' 40 days in the wilderness to help us become more aware of God's voice and his sacrificial love. It provides a rhythm of reflection and repentance and an opportunity to center our lives on the one who made us and died for us. Won't you join me on a weekly meditation as we journey through this season together? Today, on this first day of Lent, I am reflecting on how Jesus was led into the wilderness. Can you find a quiet place? Maybe light a candle. Settle down and take some deep breaths. Perhaps saying, Come, Holy Spirit, as you breathe in. And fill me with your peace as you breathe out. Listen now as I read God's word from Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 to 4. Can you use your imagination to picture the scene and let the words paint a picture for you? Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. After fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Has lockdown felt like a wilderness or a desert to you? Have you felt dry and empty, lost, afraid? What have you been hungry for that you haven't been able to have? Jesus knows your hunger. He is the bread of life. Let him feed you now. Let him comfort you by his words. Spend some time in his presence, letting him speak to you through his word.
Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. After fasting forty days and forty nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. The devil challenged Jesus' very identity, if you are the Son of God. Has your identity as a child of God been shaken as you've journeyed through the wilderness of lockdown? Jesus refuted Satan's challenge with the word of God. You can too. John 1, 12 Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Have you received Jesus as your Lord and Saviour? Do you believe in him? Then you are a child of God. Let us pray. Jesus, we know you share in our suffering. You understand our pain. And you love us and care for us. And we stand on your precious promise that you are always with us. Help us to spend time with you as we begin our Lenten journey to the cross and resurrection. Amen. Thank you for being with me and journey with me again next week.